Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, welcome to the video number 280 and uh, I hope you uh, you are doing pretty well and uh, in this video uh, we are going to talk about uh, how to make the you know the charts from the pivot. So basically we are going to discuss about the pivot charts. This is extremely very useful for you if you are if you are working on the Excel, if you, if you are somebody who really do a lot of you know analysis on the pivot and for those who are watching the channel for the first time uh, as you can see uh, this is the video number uh, 280 so we have uploaded all these videos uh, you know as per the category as per the subject so guys you can go to the playlist and you, you will find all these different different playlists just go there and click and if you're a beginner you will find the videos of your choice because uh, this channel actually has all the you know the combinations of the basic intermediate and advanced and if i just scroll it down i want to tell you if you don't have any idea about the pivots then please don't watch this video right away just first click on this excel chart of the pivot and here you can see the 16 videos are there so what you need to do is uh, you need to simply actually uh, find out the you know the videos which are looking forward to for example if you if you need the information on the charts then first go ahead and you know watch these two videos and then if you have don't have any information about the pivots then you know i request you to watch these part one and part two and part three videos so we have everything for you i mean you know so these are all the videos uh, uh recently i have uploaded because uh, a lot of you have requested in the past that they actually want to learn the pivot now in this case we this is the data and uh, if you have watched the previous videos you're not new to this database i mean this is a dummy database i have actually prepared and now today we are going to learn that how to make the pivot charts and they are very useful uh, actually you know uh, they you can have the buttons on those charts without knowing the vba right so you can really make very fancy and very actually you know stylish charts uh, the pivot charts i would say the first thing guys which you need to do is you need to actually you know uh, go to the sheet where you want the ch uh, pivot chart and then uh, go to the insert and the pivot table so again i'm not going to talk about how to create the pivot because i have already uploaded the videos on that you can go ahead and watch this video is only on for the pivot charts and also for the fact that you know i'm uploading this um, that uh, you guys are very well aware of the charts as well not the pivot charts but you know the other charts right so this is the intermediate level of the video it doesn't it really you know not going to talk about the what are the charts and what are the pivots so i let's say if i select this data this is the data i have selected i press ok now what we need to do is i want to prepare a chart based on the associate wise performance i want to see which associate actually has answered the maximum call minimum call you know and at the same time the abandoned calls so before you make the pivot chart you want to actually design the pivot in that way for example if i want the associate wise then i would not like to keep the manager name in the pivot because if you do that your chart will also have the manager name and it really doesn't make any sense right if you don't want anything why would you include that right but because we work on the pivot so sometimes we like to give the extra information because pivot is not something um where, where you really need to uh, do a lot of hard work you need to uh, write the formulas you know you need, uh, read to uh, need to think that how uh, which formula is supposed to be used how many formulas you can combine together and all that you know bombardation combination pivots are very simple drag and drop show i call them drag and drop show as simple as that right so if you're not happy with something you can immediately pull it back and you know you can put it somewhere here maybe filter column row you know wherever so it they are very easy so right now i'm going to make the pivot or based on the call answer and the abandon let's say this is what we have done and um, now i don't need anything so uh or we can do one thing guys we can put the call answer here as well you know abandon and answer so let uh, let us close this now this row label doesn't look nice so as i have explained this many times yet you can go to the design and you know from here um, report layout you can make it show in tabular form so you got the name and at the same time i don't like this sum of call answer so why don't we just keep it call answered i have extra space here because if you delete the space then it is not going to accept because these are the headers which are already there in your table right i have explained this as well in the previous videos where i have talked about the you know how to make the pivots okay so now you have got all these things now this is way what exactly your pivot looks like now how to create the pivot chart out of it so what you need to do is uh, since you have selected this pivot so just uh, you know go to the this insert option 
and in the insert option you will find here guys pivot chart which you know what kind of a chart basically you have so when you click on this drop down you get to see this pivot chart so they these are all the different different charts you can see right column line pie so i'm going to choose simply the clustered column chart so i select this chart and uh, let me just double click and now have a look at the chart now what are the good things about this chart well the good thing about this chart is that it actually has a button over here which you can select which your team can select your client can select your user i mean you know um, wherever whosoever you know is going to receive this dashboard from you right you can give this option right so if i select only let's say alum and i'll press ok you see that the chart gets populated for only the alum and look at the guys the pivot also the pivot is also going to change itself so obviously i don't need actually this you know uh, i can put my pivot uh, let me cut this and uh, let me go here let's say i'm going to paste the pivot over here right so now what i will do i will choose the let's say jolly i want to find out the jolly as well i click ok and there we go right so now the pivot is on the different sheet and the chart is on the different sheet so the good thing is you can see the comparison also so if you if you select the two names or if i select kia as well let's say i press ok now you see uh, see that the you know pivot is automatically changing and by the way we can also remove the grid lines just um, select these grid lines click here and just delete it all right so they are deleted now call answered and abandoned you really don't need these you know head headers these headers are uh, making no sense to me so what you can do you can click on that right click on that and say that hide feed values buttons on chart now don't press hide all because that's gonna hide everything so i just press this and you know this is gets hidden and similarly this value is also i don't need it so i can right click on this uh, and hide legend and there we go now this is perfectly fine now you can go to the you know the design view i'm using office 2016 so i have a different different templates you will have a different templates depending upon your version but ultimately the concept remains same right so i can choose any of these uh, fantastic colors over here and uh, so uh, maybe um, i can uh, you know kind of this also chart i can choose so guys this is so pretty good you know it looks fantastic and uh, similarly you can uh, move them here as well these legends or uh, you can put them here and you can increase the width of it and just reduce the size of it right so this gives you more space now right let me remove the grid line from the sheet also right so when you select the pivot uh, you have here design and in the design the next column is the format right so in the format also a lot of things but we need to go to the analyze so in the analyze oh uh, i was actually thinking of one thing uh which is um no sorry it's actually 2016 so you don't have that option here it's actually they have inserted these plus sign you don't you won't see the plus sign in your chart right if you are using excel 2010 or 7 i'm not sure about the 13 i've never used it actually so what i was trying to tell you when you click on the this plus sign basically you can move the legend from here also legend click here on this arrow and if i say the top you see that this is going to be on the top so i mean manually also you can drag it but uh, from there also you know you can uh, from this plus sign also you can do it and if you're not actually uh, using 2016 no worries when you select the chart uh, somewhere here under this pivot chart tool option which gets activated when you select the pivot you have an option called layout and when you click on the layout you would see all these different different tabs here in this way moving left to right so find the legend option there click on that and this is exactly what you would see top left bottom you know wherever you want so in this way i think this is the best way to create the chart right so we can we can have all the charts i can say that all okay and now you see that all the charts are coming this is really pretty cool option isn't it right so similarly now i want to show you one more thing the good thing let's say this is your pivot guys i go to the show field list and i just remove the abandoned from it let's say i just want to or maybe let's just keep the abandoned and remove the answer now you want to see that who are actually you know abandoning the calls maybe disconnecting the calls so when you come back here the pivot will automatically change this is really cool now select this and just delete this option because you didn't don't need this in the total you can obviously because we have just a one legend which is abandoned so you can also write here abandoned 
abandoned calls right that's all up to you but the good point is now this only shows the abandoned calls why because it's it's directly linked with the pivot if you do any changes in the pivot automatically your pivot is also going to you know take that shape so that's a good thing and you cannot neglect this part i just love this option you have a check mark you know if you tell somebody that you know you have made a program using the <laughs> vba right i must tell you if that person doesn't know excel so well you know they got to believe in you but you know you have done nothing you you just made the pivot and uh, through the pivot you know you are making the pivot chart so i think i'm i just love this option right so similarly guys i mean there are a lot of things um, so basically you need to design the pivot first right so if i design the pivot in as i was telling you that let's say let's put the call answered here and uh, then let's have the manager name as well here you know then automatically what will happen now before we do anything let me just go to the subtotal and remove this do not show subtotal so that you know the totals can be removed now the point is when you come back here this is what exactly the pivot looks like so here you will have the manager and in this drop down in this uh, you know check mark you have everything i mean the associate names right so in this way you can actually work on this pivot right so obviously i will have to increase the space uh, width of this and i select this uh, axis and i can reduce the size of it like in this way and uh, we can further you know increase this the width a little more and so this is how your pivot would look like right so if i want to have a look on the manager wise let's say i want to have a look um, uh, masoor ahmed right he's a manager i press ok now look at this in the you know this manager's name you have associate called ritika right so if i have a look on my table this is what exactly it talks about i have just one associate if we have a one more associates under this team leader you know obviously you would see that so this masoor ahmed name is also coming and ritika is also coming this is really very nice option right and you have the abandoned calls here right so now this says what if, if you have a look here now this says the you know call answer and this is the abandoned so obviously you will change your this uh, table also you would like to write here you know answer versus abandoned and obviously abandons are always less than the answer it can never be uh, you know more than the answer because generally when you get the calls you know in the if you take any example uh, the call center industry also abandoned cannot be greater than the answered which would mean that you have actually abandoned all the calls that's not possible right but anyways you can do a lot of things i mean you can create here uh, your own text box of the different different colors as well for example i like to do this instead of the legend here you know which we have here like the legend which which we should uh, if i click on the plus sign and i see that legend you know now the legend would also come that's perfectly fine you can do that and i can right click and i can just hide this so this is this is also a good option or otherwise you can also write here quickly you know the different color for example this is the color so you can choose um, maybe you know this color and you can write here that this is for the answer right and uh, then again this is the color let's say any other color i mean if i choose this color let's say this is going to be the abandoned color right and then the same colors you need to provide here or otherwise you can make a use of this as well so we can quickly go ahead and we can put this legend you know uh, maybe i can put it on the bottom right in this way so this is how guys you can work with the uh, pivot charts right they are very dynamic they are they have those all uh, good options the options as in uh, uh, the you know uh, good for the analysis somebody can quickly check out the performance of you know two managers as well you select the two managers and you would come to know look at this how beautifully it has segregated now you have the ajay as a manager masood as a manager and uh, under the ajay you know manager you have an associate suman and the performance is segregated there is a line which automatically gets inserted right so this is all about the pivot charts and i will be back with uh, some more discussions on the pivot watch all the previous six videos uh, starting from the scratch and uh, again i'm requesting you um, guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that because the more subscribers i will have i will actually you know get the confidence that yes we are heading towards the right direction you are liking the channel and that is only the purpose that you know i want to help you everybody and if if you like the channel that means you like my videos and you are getting the knowledge from you know my all videos so thank you so much and have a great day bye bye